these Lipo 4 batteries do not drain easily so I will be making a motorcycle battery from them. I have all the parts needed, let's start. Remember that male end is the negative. And the female end is the positive. I will connect the positive and negative so that the voltage of each battery will add up to 12 volts. This is called series connection. This is how I series. Negative connects to positive of second cell. Then negative to positive of third cell. Lastly, negative to positive of fourth cell. So these two will be our main terminals to be connected to the motorcycle. And again, here's the series. I'll use this for the connection. This is to avoid short circuit. Main terminals. I'll connect now first cell to second cell. This is to avoid terminals not part of the series from touching each other. Like these terminals. Now go on with the other series. Connection is completed and we now have two main terminals. Next is active balancer. B1 to B3 shall be connected to the positive of corresponding cells. Connect B1 to positive of first cell. Positive of second cell to B2. And so on.
connect B4 here and B- minus here. Do not connect the module and the wires yet. Know the color coding of the wires. Time to connect the wires without the module. When the light comes on, the active balancer is working. I will use this cover from my other active balancer. This is my DIY motorcycle battery. I will still buy a case or wrap this with an insulator. Connect motorcycle positive and negative here. See my other video for the testing of this motorcycle battery. Consult your professionals for this DIY.